Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of Thursday, October 29th, 2020. Well, regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package, Nancy Pelosi wrote a letter to this morning to the Steve Mnuchin requesting clarification of seven key items. If you stick around, I'll, let you, let you, I'll tell you what those key items are. They might actually interest you. And the, I'll also let you know the whole thing with the current pro issues with the current stimulus package, which is also related to the letter. <clears throat> the elections are five days away, and Pelosi says when Biden gets confirmed, when he actually becomes president on January 20th, 2021, that Trump should accept the results like a man. Pelosi says that when the Democrats take control of the presidency, the Senate, and the House, that the stimulus package will be, will actually be a very nice stimulus package, she says. She doesn't give a dollar amount, but I'll give you a, a slight idea a bit later. Trump says that if Joe Biden wins the United States, will experience a depression and that your 401ks are going to be worthless. Trump says it's your choice between economic prosperity and Biden lockdown. Regarding the second, the second stimulus check and stimulus package, Pelosi says sent a letter to the Republicans this morning asking for clarification on these seven key items. The first one is, is how the Republicans will enforce a stronger workplace safety laws. Number two is tax credits for working families. Three is child care for assist child care assistance, sorry. Four is state and local government funding. Of course, that's gotta be in there. How the Republicans plan to safely reopen schools. Extend unemployment unemployment benefits to number six. And seven is and if the Republicans will accept the Democrats' strategy for testing, tracing, and treatment. So those are seven main items right there that up uh, Pelosi's craw right now. <laughs> there was a survey done uh, where the participants were asked who is to blame for the stimulus problems. Is it the Democrats or the Republicans? Well, out of all these participants, 45 of them said it is the Republicans' fault. 40% of them said it was the Democrats' fault. 15% were undecided. And currently, the, the uh, politicians are showing more concern about the elections and very little interest in passing a stimulus package for the people. Which is basically true because they're out campaigning or on vacation. Pelosi says, said that if the Democrats control the presidency, Senate, and the House, that would be a difference between night and day for the stimulus package and that the budget for the stimulus package could be higher than three trillion dollars. So if we go for basically Nancy Pelosi's original wish list, now if it does include all essential employees, not just the frontline workers. Trump says that he'll accept a peaceful uh, exchange of power, but he wants an honest election. His exact words were, the election is a choice between a Trump super recovery or a Biden depression. And Larry Kudlow was on Fox News showing his, yeah, basically even his two cents about the letter on that Pelosi sent and on a stimulus. In fact, here's a clip. Does that sell off in the stock market push the president closer to a deal, Larry? Not at the present time, not at the present time. Look. Uh, this morning, Secretary Mnuchin uh, was sent a letter from Speaker Pelosi, like he needs a letter. They've been talking every day for three months. Uh, somehow, I guess it's a mystery, that letter got to Politico before it got to the Secretary. Our team now believes that the Speaker has no intention of compromising on key issues. She is going to hold up key assistance, like the PPP small business assistance and unemployment assistance. Uh, 
she is stringing us along and basically we think there's virtually no hope for these tests. We have doubted her seriousness uh, in the recent weeks. We've continued to negotiate in good faith. This letter that got public before it got to the secretary uh, is the wrong, bad form. But yeah. most importantly, they show no evidence of compromising on the very key issues. So we'll perhaps have to wait. I don't think this recovery depends on the assistance package per se. But I do think, Sandra, mm -hmm. I do think unemployment assistance, PPP, small business okay. assistance, helping the schools, Got it. that could have helped a lot. And it's not going to happen. The Democrats have been completely intransitive. It's just and that actually covers my video for today's stimulus check and stimulus package i like I said i'm i'm still hopeful that a stimulus a check will come out for the people because a lot of them need it and what i find out you find out this is how easy it's going to be for us all here so until next time you guys have a wonderful evening please stay safe and remember we're all this together